Hello and welcome. My name is Wendy Hewitson and I'm the Agritech Programme Manager for Barclays Eagle Labs. So thank you for joining us today for this, our third session in our Agritech Awareness Week, where today we're looking at ploughing into the Eagle Labs Agritech Network and looking at what's growing at the Eagle Lab Farm. So before we get started, I do have a short mandatory disclaimer that I need to run through with yourselves. So today we have asked Roxanne Martin, Agritech Program Lead, Lisa Bagley, Ecosystem Manager for the Eagle Labs Farm in Lincoln, and Michelle Frost, the Lab Manager for the Eagle Labs Farm in Lincoln, to join me today to provide some tips and tricks on how the Eagle Labs Agritech Program and the Eagle Labs Farm is supporting the sustainability of the agricultural sector and the whole of the food supply chain. The topics discussed are an overview of options for you to think about and to help you with your independent research and business decisions. So they aren't intended as recommendations or advice. Please also remember that your business has its own individual circumstances. So the statements and views expressed may not be applicable or suitable for your business. So as I said, welcome to our Agritech Awareness Week. My name is Wendy Hewitson and I'm the Agritech Program Manager at Barclays Eagle Labs. So to build on the launch of our Eagle Labs Agritech Program last year and the Eagle Labs Farm in Lincoln in October last year, we're hosting this event to highlight the importance of innovation and collaboration across the whole of the UK agricultural sector. So the theme for this week focuses on how collaborative the support network and structure is for those UK agri-food startups and those with technological advancements to help transform the sector. We want you to gain a greater understanding of how through our Eagle Lab network, the Agritech program, and the Eagle Lab farm at Lincoln, we can look to support and showcase innovations that have been created for or can be applied to the agricultural industry. So today, we're here to hear from members of our Eagle Labs Agritech team, and they will chat about how they have sown the seeds for success to support the industry. So without further ado, let me introduce you to our Agritech team. So let's bring back in Roxanne Martin, Lisa Bagley, and Michelle Frost. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi. 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 Thank you for having us. Really looking forward Not to it. Not a problem. It. It's great to have you all in the same room. So uh, I think probably for the people at home, what would be best is if each of you could actually give me just a quick two minute introduction about who you are and what your background has been to date. So Roxanne, I'll start with you. Yeah, cool, no worries. I feel like this is a little bit like role reversal, Wendy. <laughs> but, but here we are. So, um, so yeah, so no, I head up the Eagle Lab industry programming focused on agri-tech. Um, so I've been doing this now for, um, oh God, nearly three years, can you believe? So yeah, I've been in the role for three years. Um, before that, I was working in the agricultural business team as a research manager. Um, so I've actually been in the agricultural industry since 2016. And what a what a change the industry has been through over over the last five years on on its own and um, let alone kind of what we're going to talk about today which is which is forward looking um at, at what's to come so that's a little bit about me wendy fabulous and yourself lisa hi so i'm the barclays ecosystem manager here on the farm uh, i joined business banking back in 2016 and this is where I've got a real passion for helping businesses. And then an opportunity last year came for me to join the Eagle Labs and support the Agritech businesses. And I jumped at it and I absolutely adore it. It's been such a whirlwind of, of knowledge and learning, but just seeing the passion from the sector, it's truly refreshing. Yeah. Brilliant. And Michelle? I'm Michelle Frost. I'm the lab manager and supporting Lisa at the Eagle Lab Farm. My background um, with Barclays was in the branch network. I joined the lab as it opened last November. And like Lisa, just the exciting changes that are happening in that steep learning curve of really opening my eyes of what's actually facing the sector. Brilliant. So yeah, my farming background, and I've been with Barclays since 2011. 
And again, like Roxanne, I joined as the Eagle Labs program manager in two years ago, well, actually over two years. And we have seen so much change happen both with ourselves and in the sector. So I'd like to delve a bit deeper and find out what's been going on and what the Eagle Labs Agritech program is all around. So Roxanne, can you give our listeners at home just a quick overview of what Eagle Labs does and why we've launched the Agritech program? Yeah, sure. No worries. Um, I think some of the um, some of the little bit going delving a little bit deeper into into what we do is probably be going to be covered a little bit later on in our conversation. So I, I won't steal everyone's thunder, and I'll give a very high level overview um, to start with. So we are a network of incubators, business incubators across the UK. Um, at, the, at the time of this recording, we've got twenty five at the moment, and we're going to go into a little bit more detail around. Um, our agritech focused Eagle Lab um, later on in this conversation, I believe. Um, but um, that gives you sort of, a, I suppose, a broad overview of, of, of what we are. But why agritech? So why are Barclays just so interested in, in agriculture and agritech? Well, it goes back 276 years, and that's how long we've been banking the industry for. And if you think about those conversations that we were having back then, they really aren't very different to the conversations that we're having now. So we would have had our business managers out in the field and they would have been speaking to their customers and talking about, you know, have you thought about doing doing something to a certain area of land to make it more productive have you thought about um cultivating it in such a way to to be more efficient and this is just a natural evolution of those types of conversations um fast forward 276 years and all we're simply doing now is applying a technological lens um to those conversations and really supporting our customers with with the fourth agricultural revolution it's dubbed and um, which is all around the adoption of digital technology so that's that's pretty much it. Brilliant. So I think, Lisa, you, you can perhaps give us a bit more of a background on what the role of the Eagle Lab Farm plays within the network. Um, yeah, I can do. Um, so as Roxanne said, there's there's 25 of them uh, dotted around the country and the majority of those are tech agnostic, but we are the first and only dedicated agri-tech space. Now, we do all of the support that Michelle's going to go into on there for, for the businesses, but what truly stands us out is the collaboration that we have with the Lincoln University. So we have um, the academia that is based on site. So they are there truly with the facilities that we have to support and grow those businesses to help them grow and scale. Um, so if they're wanting to do trials out in the farmland that we have, or they're wanting to use the demonstration pack house that we do, which is all geared up to support from that field to fork process, that's what we're geared for, as well as those collaborations where we're connecting the businesses to the academia so that they can help their research. Fab. And Michelle, can you give me a bit more detail around the general support and some of the support that we get from Eagle Labs direct to our connections and network? So the um, Eagle Labs provides a range of programmes. Um, so we have partnered with uh, various different partners, Capital Enterprise, um, to deliver the funding readiness programme. So this is a programme that's um, available across um, all of our Eagle Labs that gives um, startups and entrepreneurs help to understand the funding landscape. We're just coming to the end of our recent cohort, um, which will feature in week eight, a dedicated Agritech um, funding week. The programme starts again at the end of the year uh, for any new applicants. Um, there's also a bespoke mentoring service that we're partnered with the Cambridge Judge Business School Codebase and Accelerate Her. So that gives access to all of our members, to specialists within the industry. Wow, some amazing things going on. So Roxanne, can you tell me a bit more about some of the initiatives that we have actually supported ourselves within the last 12 months? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I could probably spend the next 30 minutes answering this question, to be honest. So I will try and keep it as brief as I possibly can. Um, but what a 12 months it's been. Um, it goes without saying we're exactly the same as, as a lot of businesses. So we've really had to transform into a into a virtual proposition and support, support businesses from a virtual capacity, given the current climate that we're in. Um, but that's allowed us to have so many more opportunities um, to build such new 
and, and really sort of rich relationships with, with businesses that we may not necessarily have been in contact with before because location may have been an issue. So what have we done over those 12 months? Well, we kicked it all off virtually with the online agricultural show. So that was the, um, that was, that was the first, um, first agricultural show to go virtual. Um, it definitely set a trend um, for other agricultural shows throughout the year. And, and obviously we're still seeing that trend this year as well, given the current climate that we're in. Um, then we had our farm that you've already heard about. So that opened in October, just before the second lockdown, um, which is really exciting. That's our physical site that we've got, which has now obviously reopened now that the restrictions have lifted again. Um, but as going back to the point around um, having such an opportunity to deliver more virtually, um, we've got a number of different programmes that are running virtually at the moment. So we've launched our Agritech Focused Accelerator which builds on our existing partnership with the University of Lincoln that's currently in its final week with the demo day, um, which is planned on the 27th of May, which when, by the time this goes out, <laughs> this um, that would have already been, been and gone. Um, so then what else have we got going on? Well, we've um, we've just finished our um, pilot series of workshops with Agrometrics, which is all around the application, application of data, and that went down really well. And that was a that was a virtual series um, of workshops too. Last but not least, um, we've currently got um, currently got open for applications and it will be in its final week. So if you're interested, then please do get in touch. Um, we've got our um, accelerator or pre-accelerator, should I say, um, in partnership with Half Bradham's University. Now, this is really aimed at early stage businesses that have maybe got a really great idea, but they're not necessarily sure how to commercialize it. Um, this is the kind of um, this is the kind of program for you that if you really want that support in order to to get your business ready to ready to launch um, and you, you need that sort of more early stage support then then please do get in touch because hopefully we'll be able to support you through that program as well and um, we're definitely not finished it we do always keep ourselves very busy we've got all sorts of events and content um, and stuff that goes on throughout the year as well um, so that's just, I could talk about it all day, but hopefully two minutes um, is, is plenty for, for, this, um, for this conversation. Fab, Roxanne. And Lisa, um, could you pick one highlight uh, where the Eagle Lab farmers have been involved in supporting the sector? Oh, um, one highlight. There's been absolutely too many to mention on there. Um, we've, we've been asked to speak at so many events locally. Um, I think one of my highlights has to be being asked by the local council to support them in their upskilling um, of the staff uh, in what we do locally so that they can go out and share the message because they find that the, the agri-tech and the agri-food is so important in Lincolnshire that they asked me and Michelle to go along and talk about what we do, what support we can have so that they can share that message. Brilliant. And can you top that one, Michelle? What's been your highlight? Um, well, for me, it's probably our coffee mornings. So we're running a um, series of virtual coffee mornings. Um, and on that, we've been able to showcase some of our residents to agricultural managers, to other ag tech businesses, to farmers, um, and invite everybody along just to showcase the work that they're doing. And we're hoping to build on that. So it's been a really great foundation for us. Great. So I'll put in that on its flip side. Lisa, what have been the greatest challenges you've seen for new businesses in the last 12 months? Oh, it, do you know, it might sound cliche, but um, I suppose COVID really has put a dampener on a lot of it because we, we opened in October, three weeks were open, then we had to close and it just, it, we could have let it have an effect and stop us but we kind of flipped it on its head and go right let, let's do as much as we possibly can virtually and I've just attended everything going and I think that kind of passion has come across and a lot of businesses have gone do you know what yeah let's still collaborate let's still go there virtually and do you, do you know I think it's now going to change in terms of that we will have a national reach rather than just a local reach Brilliant. So, Roxanne, when you think about, obviously, the sustainability of the agri-tech, the agri-food sector, what do you think are the most important factors to aid that and aid their development? Where can we help? 
Yeah, absolutely. So um, I think Lisa has already touched on the point around collaboration. And I think that's probably one of the most important factors to, to consider um, for the sector. Um, I think, Wendy, I think one of your webinars um, that you're also delivering this week is exactly on that. So how different how different industry um, industry bodies or, or businesses are working together to really support um, support the agricultural UK agriculture industry to be the most hopefully the most sustainable in, in the world. Um, but that that collaboration piece, I cannot stress enough. Um, it's all around um, startups and entrepreneurs working with farmers, working with corporates, working with um, working with industry bodies, and working with universities to really, um, really truly understand what are the challenges that are um, that the farming industry is facing at the moment. Really get to the bottom of the problems um, that they're looking to solve, and really create solutions that are solving those solving those challenges. So that would be my number one factor, Wendy. No, you're right. This is all around collaborative collaboration and how far we've come and where we see it going. So, Michelle, where have you seen the greatest collaborative approaches? Is there an example you can give the people at home of where we've perhaps supported a business or done a collaborative approach? Yeah, so um, I mean, there's quite a few that work with the university. So obviously the labs partnered with the University of Lincoln. Um, a couple of them, so the recent cohort on the Agritech Accelerator, we were able to go out to them and offer um, the work finder and work experience with the university, um, which several have taken up so they can develop their research and the students get the benefit of their work experience. Thanks so much, Michelle. That was great. So as you can all tell, we're all really passionate about the growth of the sector and the sustainability of the sector. So I think I want to dig a little bit deeper and ask each of these people here today to listen to why we do it and what we enjoy most about the role. So I'm going to come to Lisa. OK, um, the collaboration um, is, is my passion and it, it's connecting, whether that be the local LEP, the council or the academia with the businesses. That is my real passion because you can see the businesses growing and the confidence growing on there and just finding um, a way of doing things better or how we can support the industry. That is my real passion and just seeing them grow and thrive. Right, and what do you enjoy most about the role, Michelle? For me, it's the networking, it's understanding and learning about the sector and the problems that are facing agriculture and the companies that are there, the ideas that are coming out of the students, these um, agri-tech companies to solve those issues and breaking down those barriers between the farmers and the, and the, and the businesses. Fab. So what have you got to top that, Roxanne? What do you enjoy <laughs> most about the role? What do I enjoy? Well, besides working with a absolutely fabulous team that you all are and really watching, which in all of you really grow and develop um, and su supporting all of you in that um, and really watching you grow, develop and, and evolve. Um, what do I like most about my role? So probably um, really around building propositions and building building propositions and building programs that are really supporting um, supporting the supporting our entrepreneurs and also our wider our wider industry as well in in terms of um, accelerating the adoption of all the all the innovation that's happening. That's probably probably what gets me out of bed every single day um, and enjoying what I do. Yeah, I just echo that. You know everything that you've said there. And then some, I say, it is literally talking to those businesses, meeting those businesses, understanding their needs, understanding their challenges, and then linking that back to the actual core problems that have been seen on the ground floor, or in the fields, if you like, within agriculture. So, yeah, wholeheartedly, um, we love the jobs that we're doing. So I'm going to ask this again, probably individually, but almost, again, as a collaborative approach. So what's the one piece of advice you would give to a new startup entering into the agri-food and agri-tech industry? And I'm going to come to Michelle first on that one. So for me, it would be to network. So have you got a network already? If you haven't, you need to get one. So that's where Eagle Labs can really support. We've got a network, a nationwide network um, of like-minded um, peers to be able to support a business to scale and grow. So network, network, network would be my advice. Fab. Roxanne? <laughs> um, 
think about think about your audience and think about the problems that they're looking to solve. So what is the challenge that you're looking to solve with your with your innovation, with your software, with your service, whatever it is you're providing, make sure you're truly solving a problem um, and a challenge um, that the industry is facing. And hopefully you won't go too far wrong. <laughs> and Lisa. Um, ask questions of those around you. Uh, because you will you never be surprised at what people know or who or who they can put you in touch with and just be confident in yourself so thank you for that lisa i, I fully agree you know there's always going to be someone that you can reach out to to help support you very much like we do as a team you know if i don't know the answer i'll have a look and see if i can find out who will so yeah that is brilliant so I think probably to, to kind of close this off, I think this is a good challenge for Roxanne to talk about. Where do you see the greatest opportunities to support the sector in the next sort of 12 to 24 months? Collaboration, 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 100%. I think it's all around the power of coming together as a collective. I think ultimately we're all here to, to support and have one the same common goal. We simply want to help the UK agriculture industry to become much more environmentally sustainable and, and hopefully the most sustainable food industry in the world. Um, but we, we can't do that on our own. Um, none of us are able to do that on our own. It's a huge challenge. So by working together and working towards that common goal, hopefully we can achieve that and, um, it much, much quicker. Fab. So you've just heard from our Agritech team um, that work closely, obviously, under the Eagle Labs umbrella. And we want to know what can we do to help support you? You know, our journey has just begun and we're going to continue to grow and evolve as we go on further into the future. So what will come up shortly after the end of our presentation is a QR code, and that will take you to a short survey. And that really is your opportunity to feed back to us what you enjoy about our sessions, what you would like to see more of, and again, what topics you'd like us to discuss in the future, whether that's educational or that's reaching out to certain sectors. Literally, we want to be able to help and continue to grow our programme as Roxanne said, it's collaboration. We can only do that together. So I've just got to say a massive thank you to my colleagues. Thank you, Roxanne. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Lisa. Let's get back on the farm shortly. Thank you, guys. Thanks thank so much you. for having thank us. You.